hello and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing well so this video is all about some of the best real world data engineering projects with their solutions so without wasting any time let's jump into it so we'll go through them one by one and see what are their goals what are the challenges they have faced as well as what best practices that you can use in that following projects so this is just a basic guide to get you started you can implement this solution on your own and let me know in the comments if you are facing these issues and also if you are talking about the data set where to find those data sets you can easily get those data sets on the kaggle so i'll be giving some of the best data sets for this projects in the description below so that you can go through them and start working on it so our first case study will get us into the world of e-commerce where we will see how we can implement the e-commerce data pipeline so just imagine to process and handle like a millions of customer transactions on a day to day basis that's pretty cool right so basically the goal of this project is like to build a data pipeline which is so robust which is like used for analyzing and processing millions of customer daily transactions and it should do that having the higher availability as well as the scalability so what are the challenges for this project so the biggest challenge is like the sudden spike in the data so as we have seen in the e-commerce website there will be the times on during the sales or some seasons there will be like huge data spikes so your system should be fault tolerant as well as it should be highly available during those uncertain events so this should sustain the higher data volumes with ease as well as maintain the scalability and also it should have like some load balancing because load balancing will be like most important thing in this project so to tackle all these challenges you should really think about implementing the microservices architecture and also you have to leverage some of the best technologies like the apache kafka for real time streaming as well as the apache hadoop for batch processing of your data and also to make your system more optimized you should also think about the data partitioning as well as the caching techniques to optimize your data solution so if you want to set up apache kafka on your windows pc then we already have a lecture on that which have like complete setup of apache kafka on your system and we also have a dedicated 59 videos of apache hadoop which is dedicated to batch processing real time processing and all the ecosystem tools which are involved in hadoop so i'll highly recommend you to go through them and start building your solution and also i'll be giving some data set which will replicate these challenges and so that you can easily start working on that without any issues so the next project that you should build is like healthcare analytics so healthcare analytics involve the patient data so you have to imagine that you are analyzing healthcare data for providing a service great service to the patient so the main goal of this project is to build a robust data infrastructure which can handle this healthcare data and also the healthcare professional should have access to the critical information of the data so that this will enables healthcare professional to easily access the critical data of a patient so what will be the biggest challenge here so the main challenge would be the sensitive information because the medical history of any patient is considered a highly sensitive data so you have to make sure that your data infrastructure is secure and your sensitive data is handled properly and also you have to ensure like the robust platform so that the critical information of a patient should be available quickly without any issues and also there would be the data coming from different sources as well as in the different formats so you have to build a solution to unify that data and provide a standard structure so that it should be readable to the healthcare professional without any issues so to overcome all these challenges you should really think about like a secure data lake architecture and also integrate a robust access controls so that only the required healthcare professional should have access to that sensitive information and also it should anonymize the sensitive patient data also like you have to leverage machine learning capabilities for the predictive analytics so that 
the improves it improves the patient care and the decision making and at last we have our final project so our project is like handling the iot data for the smart cities so imagine processing the data coming from thousands of sensors across the city so what will be the biggest challenge here so the data will be coming at a real time from this iot sensors as well as at a high scale and every sensor will have a different structure of the data so that your data sources are also pretty different so that will be the biggest challenge so to tackle all these problems you should really focus on implementing like the edge computing for local data processing as well as integrated data from various sensors and you should have a centralized platform in which you should utilize that and build like a data visualization platform so that your tools will able to give us real time insights of your urban planners and also the result will be like the smarter and more efficient city so this was like pretty popular projects you can implement and build on your own so that you can add those projects in your resume and shine in front of the recruiters so we have seen like how the scalability the data security the data quality and compliance really matters in the data engineering projects it's not about the technology and the tools but you should really focus on building a robust data infrastructure for your project so at last you should really focus on building a strong foundational knowledge in data engineering concepts and you have to stay updated with the evolving technologies and what tools and technologies are coming in what are the capabilities of those tools and which one will be better for which scenarios because every use case will have like different requirements will need different tools so different to handle different tools you should really focus on building your fundamentals so i have just given you some of the basic projects which are really interesting to implement so that you can practice that and build your foundational knowledge and if you are facing any difficulties you can let me know in the comments and we can discuss it further i hope you like this video so please subscribe to the channel and also ring notification bell to get the latest updates thanks for watching